What's up guys, this is going to be a really quick little video, but there's a very powerful feature in Blender that I want to talk about because not a lot of people use it. In fact, I don't think a lot of people realize that it exists. And if you're doing anything with large render times like animations, this can be a real lifesaver. So I've got this scene here. It's just the, uh, the trash compactor from the Death Star of the first Star Wars movie. I made this for some sort of animation. I don't remember exactly why I made it, to be honest. It's just a long abandoned project. But I'm gonna use this for the example. So it's got 80 samples and no denoising, adaptive sampling on. And if we hit render on this, I think it usually takes something like nine seconds of frame, which isn't too bad for an animation, but it'd be nice if we could get that down. Right, so yeah, it finishes in 8.87 seconds and the quality is pretty good. If we zoom in, it does have quite a lot of noise. Uh, on an animation, you might get some flickering because of all this noise, unfortunately. So you'd wanna clear that up if you can. But what I'm gonna do, let's change slot to slot two and under the light path settings for the, the render settings, there's a setting here called fast GI approximation. This isn't actually a new thing, uh, Blender's had this for a long time, but it used to be hidden away under the Simplify panel. The developers have moved it here, hoping that more people will actually use it if they know it's there, because nobody ever checks the Simplify panel, right? So they've moved it here, and if we're going to turn this on, let's just hit render again and see what happens. So instead of 8.87 seconds, it's done in 5.3 seconds, which is like considerably faster. What's that like? like a, th a third of the time or more, it's nearly half the time, the render time, and it looks almost identical. If we hit J and just cycle through these renders, you can see the only difference is that the shadows are a little bit darker. And if we zoom in, what we'll also notice is that we actually have a lot less noise. Like over here, especially, there's tons and tons of noise in the original, and a lot of that disappears. You would think denoising had been turned on, but it hasn't. Uh, so faster render times and less noise. How is that possible, right? Well, what this basically does is there's something in, in a normal scene called global illumination, right? Which is the light that bounces around the scene a few times before it hits the camera. It doesn't just come directly off an object and hit the camera. It, it does a few bounces. That adds a lot of noise to a scene and it takes a long time to calculate. So what Blender does when you turn on the setting is it just fakes that essentially. It uses some clever maths to kind of approximate it so it isn't quite physically accurate, hence the difference in the renders. But it's pretty damn close and it's incredibly fast and you can actually make it more accurate by turning up the number of bounces, which obviously slows down the render a little bit, but it gets you a more accurate result sometimes. Depending on how your scene set up, if you've got a lot of glass or something, you might have to turn those bounces up. There's another setting here called the AO factor, which controls how much of that lighting gets added to the scene. If you turn this like off, then you have no bounce lighting essentially. And you can actually turn that up above one. You can do like say 50. The higher the number is, the lighter your shadow is gonna look basically. So if you have dark shadows like we did before, you could just always turn this up and that'll probably fix it. The last setting here, AO distance, controls how far away something can be before it doesn't contribute light to other surfaces anymore. So let's say these were 10 meters away, these walls. If we have this set of five, light from this wall wouldn't influence this wall. If they were very close, then it would. So uh, that's all I wanted to talk about, guys. I know this is a really quick video, but it's a very, very powerful tool. If you're doing any sort of animations or whatever, this is a lifesaver. Sorry you haven't seen me in a video for a long time. If you follow me on social media or on Patreon, you'll probably know I'm really busy with some big, big projects that I'm really excited to show you. I actually have some good videos coming up in the next week or two, so stay tuned for those. 